Hello everyone and welcome to Season 2 of Let's Play Nuclear Throne. Yes, Season 2 because I recorded a ton of these videos, but for some time I took a break because I was kinda full of the game from uh, my knee to my head and I decided that I'm gonna play it again recently. The main reason is that in between work and study and then more studying I have only short amounts of time and that is perfect for Nuclear Throne because it's a very fast paced game with short sessions. So what is it? Well, Nuclear Throne is a top down arcade RPG indie shoot them all game. It's very crazy, very fast paced. You take control of one of the mutants or robots or stuff, you know, these are various uh, different characters that you can play in the game, each having its distinctive uh, ability and playstyle. You take that character, you take it into the wasteland and you kill everything in your path while searching for the nuclear throne. So we're gonna start from the very basic character, which is Fish. I guess I'm the only one who, who considers it basic. But fish is great, it gets more ammo, and it can roll, which is the best ability in the game. So let's get on with it. Now, good, we're in a spot where I can explain a bit. This is my health, I have 8 hit points, I have 120 bullets in my revolver, it can have up to 2 weapons at a time. These are the ammo types, you have uh, bullets, shells, uh, arrows, explosives and energy. This is my level. We will kill enemies and pick up green stuff, which is called rads, and they will be stored here. Once I get enough rads, I will level up and get a mutation. So these are the first very basic enemies of the wasteland. This is the first level of the free stage wasteland. Our target is to kill everything in our path. So yeah, as I mentioned, fish can roll, which is, you know, one of the best abilities because, you know, Objectively, it allows you to go away when there is danger, like this. I should do it more. By the way, we've already leveled up and we picked up... Uh, there was an ammo chest there. No, that's weapon chest. Ammo chest is over down here. I'm gonna pick up uh, 20 shells for my slugger. Slugger is an awesome weapon. It shoots big bursts. But uh, there are better weapons later on in the game. So we have leveled up and we can select a mutation. You get a choice of four and we can get a rabbit paw which will get us more HP and ammo drops. We can get laser brain which will make us deal more weapon uh, damage with energy weapons. We can get euphoria which means slow enemy bullets or long arms which would increase our range with melee weapons. Yes, there are melee weapons and they are awesome. But I'm gonna take rabbit paw because that is a very strong mutation. It is strong. Okay, so the second stage is not much different from the first stage because this is the same wasteland that we've been in already. I'm gonna just kill a couple of these mag. An assault rifle is worth ditching our revolver and getting it. It shoots three bullets in rapid succession. This is a more dangerous type of enemy, the scorpion one. I killed everything, and that was a laser pistol, I believe. Yeah, it is. That one sucks. It does pew pew with laser. <laughs> I don't like it. It's actually really weak. But it can hit multiple enemies at one time. Now, we are going to soon encounter the mini boss of Wasteland, which is called the Big Bandit. He is related to these guys. Yes, he's down here. Actually, in the one I'm gonna pick up the laser pistol, it's perfect for fighting a big bandit. Okay, that's one place where rolling became in handy. Cool. Now I'm gonna ditch it again and bring the slugger back. Slugger is great, but you know, it doesn't shoot all that far. And the closer the enemy is to you, the more damage you do. However, this is an absolutely awesome weapon. It's crossbow. One of my uh, favorite weapons in the beginning. Actually, a combination of crossbow and assault rifle is just incredible. However, we're going to have to take the screwdriver, which is the weakest and the most awful weapon <laughs> that is uh, in the category melee, but we have to take it because it will allow us to get into a secret level later on. 
and I want that secret level. So what am I going to ditch? Mm, yeah, the assault rifle. So now we are arguably much weaker than before. So we have recycled gland, which will give us more hit. Well, actually, when we hit enemy with our bullets, some of them return to us as ammo. We have sharp teeth. When we take damage, everything on the screen is damaged. Second stomach is awesome because you get more HP from medkits. But instead, we're going to take scarier face, which makes every enemy have 20% less HP. And that is just, hands down, out of these four, the best mutation. Okay. So, now we are in the sewers. Swords are pretty easy if you can do one thing that I can, then just be careful. Because these rats, they don't seem all that fast, but they are extremely fast. And they can murder you with a bit of uh, your impatience. Oh my god! Bullets everywhere. Okay, if we had a grenade launcher and shot it here, uh, we would destroy this and open up a way to one of the secret levels in the game. However, we don't have it, so it's not possible for us. So I'll ignore it, unless there will be a grenade launcher in this weapon chest over there. That would be awesome. No, it's an SMG, which is an incredible weapon but needs a lot of specific mutations because it's it's really fast firing but you can see that it's really inaccurate so you need eagle eyes and preferably also recycling gland for it okay you're dead and you're dead and here we go to the junkyard here is the eagle eyes I was speaking about previously that's a very good mutation uh, for any bullet based weapons all these other ones suck this one would make corpse fly a bit further away when we kill them last wish gets you full hp and some ammo very awful one uh, gamma guts enemies touching you take damage uh, it can be good uh, because some enemies can hurt you uh, in melee range but we're gonna take Eagle Eyes and hope for a minigun or an SMG again. So, here is where it gets a bit tricky. Things are gonna get much harder. These things that's running around here are the Samurais. And they have a fucking dangerous sword of death. When they hit you, you get like 8, no not 8, 6, six damage I believe, which is you know, over half, well, it's three quarters of your health. And that is real a lot. Okay, now we... This is the way by... Oh, no! Fuck me! I took the screwdriver because I could have gone here and taken the way to the secret level, but I didn't recognize that this was the last enemy. I killed him, and that opened the portal, which destroyed our way, and I couldn't even get that gun, whatever it was. Well, great. So you won't see the secret level now. You'll see it some other time, though, I promise. It's not that hard to get to. Screwdriver is fairly easy to get. A pop gun, okay, I'll trade it. Pop gun is a gun that shoots bullets, but it turns them into slugger shells, so it has bounty effect on it. It's also very fast firing, so it's good for uh, area control, I guess. Okay, this is the last one, yes. So now we're gonna go to the last level of the junkyard and we are going to face what is called the big dog. As my weapons are incredibly awful, I think we're gonna die there, but you know. I hope springs a thermal. Okay, and I'm nearly dead. Yep, there's the big dog himself. I need that health. 
Okay, if I don't kill this guy immediately, I'm dead. Meat. Thank God for this gifts that you insisted upon me. Come on. Okay, he's dead. We did it. Oh my fucking god. If you shot and killed me now, I would be so fucking pissed. Okay, we killed Big Dog. And we were awarded with Lightning Pistol. How much? 43. Hmm. Lightning Pistol is a good weapon, but... Oh, but oh, yes, we're gonna take shovel. Shovel is a melee weapon, one of my favorites because it has a decent uh, balance between amount of times you can hit, damage, and range. So I'm gonna take it. Awesome, back muscle is one of the best ones, uh, best mutations in the game. It doubles your ammo capacity for all weapons. But, now we are in Crystal Caves, which is a peculiar part of the game, where you encounter very fast Crystal Spiders and very slow Crystals, which shoot these deadly laser beams. Also, if you touch a Crystal, you are dead, no matter what. They have that kind of effect. But thank god we have scarier face, so they're not that tough. A jaghammer, fuck you. Bounce a shotgun, what does that one do? Oh, I hate this one. <laughs> okay, anyone else? No, that guy is the last one. So we are still equipped with these two weapons, which is not all that good. We're going into the frozen town. And we got an incredible sweet B track to play with it. Okay, this is where fun stops. Every enemy here is potentially incredible death. In incredible deadly. I said incredible death, but that's true as well. Fuck you! Everything explodes, everything is able to kill you in one shot, everything is really fast. Everyone, everyone here needs to be respected. Okay. Oh my god, he has a car. He can throw that car at us if we're not careful. And I opened uh, into the mention of police chest, which gives me a ton of ammo for everything. Oh my god, what brings these douchebags into the play? I hate them. And I'm not alone. I really need better weapons than this. Or I need better mutations than this. Oh my god, a bazooka? Are you kidding me, game? Now you might think, Bazooka is great. No, it's not. It has a distinct delay in the shot, which is enough for most of your enemies to come and hit you in the face or change their location so that when the Bazooka hits them, you are caught in the collateral damage it will deal and thus die an awful death. Okay. Here we go, next level, and we will have a mutation. Long arms. Okay, so we are now going to keep the shovel. Oh my god, fuck! I hate this thing. I hate this thing with the depths of my heart. What we need... No! <laughs> I wanted to say that what we need is a mutation that's called Trigger Fingers that would make us hit everything faster. But instead, we died. 
So I hope you enjoyed this first episode of the renewed Nuclear Throne Let's Play. We are going to play some more because this game is fucking awesome.